Welcome to the final episode of the 2016 season. Now, just as we put the little preamble note there before the episode, I do want to expand on that so you can understand what you're seeing. All of you longtime subscribers and viewers of the Nova Scotia Mine Hunters videos will note that this one is a little bit different. In this particular episode, we're going to deviate from the norm and we won't be going into an abandoned mine at all. But you Mine Hunters fans don't fret because mine hunting and cave hunting are very similar and the caving community may find this quite interesting. So the cave at hand is the Arch Cave, sometimes known as the Skylight Cave, and it's near Bedeck up in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. So let's get down to the nitty gritty of it. This cave is the largest cave system in Nova Scotia by far. Uh, previously, everyone thought, oh, Hayes Cave near Maitland is, uh, is huge. It's the biggest cave in Nova Scotia. Well, unfortunately, no longer. Um, this one goes to depths and into areas uh, that have been very rarely explored, if at all. Um, the group that did invite us that were fans of the channel to come along and film this episode were pretty much the first fellows to get to the very end of this cave system. And some cavers have gone through the initial parts of this system, but there is a point where really no one seems to go past. We go past that part today, folks. So that's what's going to be really special about this episode, is we're going to go to the very end of the Arch Cave system. So let's, uh, let's haul out the footage. And we shot this earlier in the, uh, in the summer of 2016 and uh, saved it to the end for everyone. So welcome cavers and uh, hopefully this will bring you on board. Maybe you'll be interested in some of the other abandoned mine sites that uh, may titillate your fancy here on the channel from earlier. So um, mind hunters, cave hunters alike, uh, enjoy. Let's roll. Here we are at the beginning of our journey inside Arch Cave in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. And uh, I'm here with the fellas, some awesome cavers that are gonna take us through here today. And we're gonna get all this documented. Now tell me about Arch Cave, why is this, why is this special? Well, probably the most unique things are that it is the longest cave in Nova Scotia. I thought that was Hayes Cave though. Well, Hayes Cave was until a couple of years ago when we got into an extension here. So this one is just over 500 meters in length. And it is by far the prettiest cave in Nova Scotia. Wow, so that's gypsum? It is gypsum. It's got a six or seven meter waterfall in it. And how many people know about this? Uh, the world knows about this because there's a geocache in the entrance. Uh -uh. So and it's very it... easy to uh, Google it and find it. There it is. Not so easy to get to. So that's just this part though, because you were saying earlier off camera that um, most people stop right down over there. Correct. So most people who come here are just interested in finding the geocache, having a look at the entrance, which is really impressive, and then uh, thrashing back through the bush to get out. So this is about what most people see is this chain, these, this part of the cave here. Yeah. So there's much more than this. Almost 500 meters more. Wow. All right, folks, buckle up. So ex uh, explain what you're doing. What is this? Uh, so basically taking uh, distance, inclination, and compass bearings to produce a line drawing of the cave. Okay. And then you take and draw the line drawing onto a slate so that when you come back, 
you can sketch in the cave. Excellent. So they can eventually... So you're, you're basically like you're surveying. Yeah. In a way. Exactly. So here we are at the end of the uh, the large entrance portion of the cave where most people come to see that geocache. And this is the crawl where we're gonna head in and continue onwards where most people don't go. <laughs> so we're gonna head in through there as they continue the survey. All right, that's back from where we came from. And uh, here we are continuing through the, uh, the crawl. And this is what it looks like coming through here. It's anywhere from two to three feet tall in here. And it's a crawl through a yeah, it's two brook. Feet, two feet most of the way through. Yeah, two feet most of the way through. All right, we're almost through the crawl. Here we are at the turn. And they're up there continuing their, uh, their measurements and surveying. We're just waiting here in a little pocket where we can kind of sit up for a bit. And the ceiling of gypsum, the back hanging low. It's a great big log that's floated in here. And there's of course the, uh, the water flow coming down through. Somewhere way down there. Some place I can see forward from. Can you see forward from there? Okay, here's coming out of the crawl. And the fellows are still up ahead, making their way. But uh, you come out into this uh, chamber where you can finally stand up. All right, there's where we just came from. We're gonna try and get you oriented here now that we're in this uh, next chamber where we can stand up. And it uh, it's incredible. It goes way up probably, what would you say there? Maybe oh, was... 50, 60 feet? Yeah. Up into cracks. I'm gonna try and get a better vantage point here. And this is almost like a great big chunk just sitting here in the side of the room. Like this, so. This that we're looking at is the alternate route in that bypasses the crawl that we just did. Oh yes, if, if you go way up at the top of that yeah. high yeah. ceiling area, yeah. Now down here, where the water continues to flow, is where we're continuing, and it's another crawl. I'll drop down here so you can have a peek. And we're gonna head through there. So here I am up in that crack. There's down into the main chamber just to look around here a bit. It's absolutely incredible how it, uh, it just keeps going and branching. Goes off there into the distance. Okay, we're heading into the next crawl here. This one you have to, you try to stay out of the water. It's not always possible. It's muddy, wet and cold no matter what you do, but it's another low one. Probably two feet. So this is what you see laying on your back coming through the crawl. The weight of the world sitting above you and looking down at your feet. Laying with your ass in the brook. <laughs> Heading through the cave. All right, we're out of the second crawl. Again, there's the brook continuing. And we're in this other wonderful chamber just way up like that. And of course, there's the wonderful site. We'll go around there and take a, a real good look at that. But around the corner is, of course, the, uh, do they call that the skylight?
So from down here at water level, that must be a good 60 to 80 feet to the forest floor. So tell me about what you're seeing. We're up here with him. Uh... What we see here is, is obviously a very large sinkhole, but what it appears to be is a number of, of smaller sinkholes. Uh, some people refer to them as gypsum tubes. And we can see these out in front of me here. Uh, in fact, we can see the remains of one uh, off to our right here where it hasn't fully collapsed. And you can see the cylinder shape of it. This collapse has taken place in stages. As you can see, the vegetation across the rim here that is obviously far below what would normally be the roof above. So at one point in time, this was uh, one roof. Uh, and in fact, this was probably mostly uh, infilled, uh, you know, the, it, and, and over the years, the erosion uh, between these different pipes or tubes has collectively uh, caused them all to collapse and create this enormous, beautiful sinkhole. Okay, down from the sinkhole in the uh, forest floor. Here is our next crawl to continue on through the cave system. A couple of the fellows are already up ahead. We're going to continue on to follow them. Okay, here's the uh, a peak of the third crawl. This one might be a foot high. A little better than that in places, but uh, it's a large, probably 60 by 60 foot flat area of just space that the brook flows through. And we gotta head way over there to get out of here. So you're on your belly with the mountain laying on your back. All right, see it just crawl like a worm. That's all you can do. There, up ahead there. That's where we're headed. Go towards the light. Take the light. Yeah, so this is what it looks like coming out of the super duper crawl. <laughs> it's starting to open up in front of us here now. And is that the uh, the next chamber in front of you there? The sort next of. area of the cave, sort of? Go up and over a little bit of a hump and come back down into a chamber. Okay, let's keep going. Let's do it. All right, I'm out of the crawl now. And now we just head towards the light. Might be three, four feet tall in here right now. Okay, that's where we just came from. And we're in a, another sort of chamber. There's more of the uh, cave formation continuing on. Lots of crevices. Now, did they head down through there? Or are you climbing up and over? You're gonna go up and over, all right. Okay, so up and over has been determined to be not as good as just going under, so we're gonna go under. Okay, we just made it through that little crawl slash hunched walk. Kind of like a hallway through here. He's seeing formations on rocks. Let's go and have a look. <clears throat> okay. Those have a name or? I don't know if those would be the beginnings of stalactites or not. I mean, these are Obviously taking a long time to form, but some of these are very intricate. I mean, that's fascinating. And this is 
to make a special note that this is due to the lack of human activity. Uh, so we'll take our care with them and uh, hope that everyone does in the future. So this is our next uh, crawl space to get through. And it is, of course, a challenge to try and keep out of the water and stay as dry as possible. Did you make it through? Oh, yes, yeah. All right, so here's what it looks like, our next, uh, next little crawl space to get through to go continue following this water through the cave formation. All right, we made it through that crawl, and now we can stand up. And we are yet again in another complex chamber system here where it just uh, keeps on going off in different tracks and directions. And it just got huge again. Wow. What do you see up here? Skylight. The skylight. Oh, up there. All right, with the iris more open, that goes up to the forest floor. And I'll, some climbers actually come in through there on ropes and just hang like a spider and touch bottom. Around the corner here, I assume. Just another view of that, uh, the chimney, the sinkhole, the skylight that goes right up to the forest floor. A little more underneath it now. That is daylight coming from the surface. Okay, from the skylight we can uh, we continue on. Massive in here, massive, massive. I don't care. Hold it over top of the rock. <laughs> We've caught up to the fellas. They're still surveying or whatever. Hold it, hold it <laughs> So here we are at cave level and the, uh, the water trickling behind us here just goes down into the floor and uh, it's all hollow down through here. It's really hard to photograph but that's actually where we're trying to go next is uh, that floor down there if I can barely photograph it properly but it is a good 50-60 feet below this floor level here and you can hear the water rushing down there from the uh, essentially a waterfall that's what we're that's what the waterfall is the uh, the brook flowing through the cave takes a dive and heads through the floor so the uh, the rigging is now getting involved because in order to go down to that lower section of the cave, down where the waterfall is, uh, rigging, rigging will be required. 
So here's what's being attempted, folks. He's descending down to the waterfall level on this ladder. And he's down. Here's coming down on the ladder. Here's the waterfall. So this is where the uh, the water flow in the cave comes down. So here's our ladder. Our only way home. So from the waterfall, they're heading further. That's the uh, the continuation. Much more rarely traveled this part, so we have to go up through here. Wow. So the waterfall section was down there. Okay, on we still continue. We came up through there. Now we have another scree up through there, and the boys are already up there. Let's go. Did you say you saw a salamander? We better hurry. All right, we better hurry. <laughs> He's shy. <laughs> I said we saw one that size boat here last time too. Probably the same guy. You just Probably. The same spot. Yeah, but there will be more than one. This is how far he traveled in two weeks. So another massive chamber. Let's go. So we continue up here, do we? Down. Down, okay. We're coming to a point where it's going to be really hard to go through. Okay. Like he'll have to remove his backpack. Here's where they just went. Interesting. Uh, I wonder how this was formed through here, because you wouldn't think any water or anything would have anything to influence this. It's strange. The water was down below, and then it crumpled them and ah. filled up. All right, so let's head through. Watch your head. We're coming to a crawl through a little wee tunnel, tunnel-like formation. Let's go up to it here, they're already heading through. <laughs> Say that again? I'm gonna ease myself down feet first. Just watch and, and feel for the ledges as I go down. Okay. So we're on our backs going feet first down through this uh, tube system. And they say down there it takes a a drop just beyond that black bag that they're heading down through. And we're next. This is tight, folks. It is indeed tight. I've slid down a little further. Picture going through a kid's slide that's maybe two feet in diameter and you're an adult. And it's all gypsum crumbling around you. <laughs> Okay, here he comes. This is the end of that uh, tube. He's got to shimmy past that and plant his feet down here. Meanwhile, as you can see, the tunnel continues, but here he comes. Oh, I'm at this duck. 
Yeah, he's down. Jesus. It's tight in here, folks. I can barely turn around. And there he goes. That's how we continue. All right, down where we're continuing. <laughs> this is what we're dealing with. So it's just tiny chamber to tiny chamber with these uh, tubes in between. This one you're going to have to pass the equipment because you need your hand and your two feet. Okay, so a more difficult climb here. Let's take a peek down there. Yeah. Uh-huh. So we came down from there and we are at the water flow from the, uh, the waterfall which is heading this way to the left of the picture. And we're going to continue following it. Again, this is the part of the cave that is uh, rarely, if not ever traveled before. Okay, this is where we continue. The water heads down in there. Narrow, probably two and a half to three feet wide. And we are not to touch the walls because this is so untraveled that everything is just waiting to crumble off not been handled or touched before, so beware. Here's where we're going, folks. Oh, chunks up there just waiting to come down. That must go up there again a good 70, 80 feet. much of that and I'm not going to mess around with these rocks too much I'm just going to kind of lunge forward and go for it. Right. Yeah that buddy's waiting to come down over oh. our heads. What the heck? Look at this. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, it's kind of cool but we'll just leave it right there. The cobra's head. It's a look how this shit is just ready to crumble off. Yep. Seriously ready to crumble off. So that's why we'll just make sure that we don't touch any of it. Put your back. Oof, well, I'm trying. Okay, here we are back at the water again. And uh, we've got to crawl under this rock here. And the, uh, the caving continues. The end's up here somewhere though, isn't it? Yes? Somewhere. Well, somewhere. Come to an end. All right, that's where we came from. It's opened back up again. We got lots of room in here. Another sizable chamber. Gypsum chunks that have fallen. The boys are exercising to keep uh, keep the body heat up. He keeps it going. It's hard to keep up with them now. <laughs> I can't even imagine how deep below the surface we are now. But here is the uh, the return of the water flow. And the fellows have continued up in there. And the water just continues down around the corner here. Okay, there they are up there. I'm just up here on a ledge. There's the water flow way down there. And that's where we came from back there. I don't know what the potential 
So we're in yet another huge chamber with the continuation way up there. Wow. Oh, to only be able to get up there. So this lovely collapsy slabs area is kind of where we're continuing because the, uh, the cave continues that way. We follow the water and there are big flat slabs that have already collapsed there and there. You can see them ready to shelve off. And the end is down there somewhere. We have to keep going. Back to another crawl, folks. All right, we're out of the crawl now. And it heads down that way. Again, all this big area of collapsed slabs coming from the ceiling, very distinctly different in here. Not really much more gypsum based. There's some here. We're in another, another big chamber. And uh, here's where the water flow's headed. And it goes over this precipice here. So another 10 or 12 meters up there. So here's the end from above. I'm standing up at the, that level where it goes another 10 to 12 meters. So we're going to, uh, we're gonna do it. So we'll turn around, we'll follow him, and we will go to the end of this damn cave. And this is it, is it? So thanks to these, thanks to these fellas for inviting us out for this special edition of Nova Scotia Mind Hunters. It's really Nova Scotia Cave Hunters now, but uh, here we are at the end of uh, the Arch Cave. Is that correct? That's the name. That is correct. All right. We discovered a couple of potential new directions to travel uh, but at this point in time right now we, we are sitting uh, by far in the back of the uh, largest longest cave in Nova Scotia and quite obviously the most spectacular thus far here's to better things in the future may the discoveries continue and may you dig all the way to China here in this corner <laughs> <laughs> at least back to the water <laughs> right bye bye everybody